Welcome to the Facebook Live, everyone. My name is Officer Jake and Clark for the Breckenridge Police Department. Today I'm going to be answering your questions and all things happening in the city. So, you may begin typing. Uh, I will begin answering any questions that you are, um, you are willing to ask me. Looks like our first question is coming. What is your department's stance on crime? Is there anything um, they could be doing differently uh, now than they have before? Um, yeah, so the department's state of crime is actually pretty quiet. Uh, the only things that we have been dealing with um, have been young kids in the, um, basically in the, in, uh, like juvenile uh, kids uh, smoking uh, weed and um, you know getting into trouble with vandalism and stuff so uh, we have a solution um, uh, this department um, coming next month um, we are having a youth ride along day that will allow kids to experience um, what a police um, officer uh, does all day um, and maybe being able to reach out to them make some lifelong um, you know friendships uh, giving kids some advice um, giving them an experience of what being a police officer is all about um, in the past we've done events like this um, and it has changed the rate of crime in minors exponentially uh, we would like to see that um, again all right what else we got here uh, our next question has come in also um, we are concerned with the actions uh, by the police officers occurring around the country. Uh, what do you think your department can do to keep us safe and at ease? Uh, yeah, this is a really good question. And also, I've been uh, leaving the names out on purpose uh, for security reasons. We don't want anybody uh, being mad at the people that are uh, asking these questions. So we're just going to leave the names out and answer the questions accordingly. So my answer is... Um, uh, we have trained our officers uh, up to be able to be friendly, but yet get to the point um, to why you know they're getting stopped or why they're at your property or anything like that coming into contact. Um, we have gone through many uh, sensitivity classes uh, to uplift and support our officers in everything that they do so that way they um, um, they can ensure peace and uh, safety to our community and allowing them to be able to talk more freely um, but yet uh, having sensitive um, towards your needs um, and that way you're not you know getting offended or anything like that being patient um, so we've really uh, grown a really tough bond with our community and so I don't think you'll be having that um, I don't think I'll be getting any calls for any uh, bad officers or having a bad day or anything because they're really good at um, keeping their posture uh, being professional so yeah there's that okay our next question is going to be in ways your department uh, can be more productive and interactive with us in the community uh, what are some suggested uh, steps that can be taken? Yeah, so every Saturday, um, our town has a town meeting. Um, and if you have any questions, statements, concerns that you would like to ask an officer, uh, we are always at those meetings. Um, so feel free to come to those meetings. Like I said, it's every Saturday. Um, and it's just walking, you know, come and make sure, you know, you bring your mask and whatnot because there will be more than, you know, 10 people in the building as well as our food pantries on Sunday. Um, our officers are normally there um, helping out the community in all, um, all ways that they basically um, have the ability to. All right, next question. Officers have been found in the past to have been violating social media policies and posting inappropriate comments in their other nearby, uh, in and with, I forgot to... Um, add that make sure um, nearby depart with nearby departments 
yeah, so um, that's true. Uh, a couple uh, communities or a couple towns around um, a 50 mile radius have been caught doing this. Our department will not be posting anything. Uh, the only contact we will have with other departments is our dispatch. My department is not allowed to have cell phones uh, or of any kind on the job except for our work cell phones. So rest assured, we will not violate your privacy. Um, all right, what's the next question? Let's see here. Let me scroll down a little bit. Um, what is your department's stance on officer use of social media? What will you do to insure, ensure excuse me, that the officer's personal opinions do not get involved in the city, town, uh, po politics? Yeah, that's, this is a really good question. So our officers, when they're when they are on duty are not allowed to use social media but understand this our officers off duty can post what they like um, we are obviously monitoring this to make sure they're not um, cyber bullying or uh, putting out hate crime or anything like that but they have the freedom of speech we tend to stay out of um, off-duty um, affairs. Our department is just too busy to be worrying about actions of others on off-duty officers' statements on social media. But if you do have a concern about something specific, um, our officers or our um, our uh, our dispatch or not dispatch, but our off. Uh, our non-emergency phone number, police department number, um, will be listed down below. Um, if not, I can give it to you at 989-842-5657. We are also open at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. And there's no other questions. Awesome. Well, this will conclude our um, our time. Like I said, if you have any questions, please. Um, call the number in the brochure that we have on our tables and whatnot. I'm Officer Jake and Clark, and you guys have a great day.